a great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, here in Arizona, and this is a ballpark where traditionally the ball has jumped, but a few years back they installed that humidor, and now offense has been neutralized a little. And I think hitters still in their minds believe that the ball does carry, and that can produce some confidence as you step into the plate for your at-bats. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Charlie Blackman. And a pitch. That one's upstairs, ball one. And this one is off and running. The 1 0. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a double to start the game. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now here is Ezekiel Tovar. Outside, and it's one to know. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. And a base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with a pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Now here's Nolan Jones. On the ground to third. This looks like extra bases. Tovar, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores, and they lead by two. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Chris Bryant now. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brian out on the play. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. That is it. The second base. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt for a base hit get him moving off the mound if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it at the belt and fires and a foul ball. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you... That's a base hit as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Man at first with one gone. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Runner on the go. And first offering is fouled off. 
Rodgers leads off first with one away. Not even close there. And the count is one and one. That one ripped, but foul. Here's a one two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And now it's Elias Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. Diaz hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's a former All-Star Game MVP. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Throws to first in time, and that is that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Rockies three, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here at Chase Field, and today's starter, Kyle Freeland. What do you got on him, Chris? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Fought off foul. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one at the knees for a strike. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And it's a double to start the bottom of the first. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So, a man aboard, Cattell Marte up to the plate. A switch hitter batting right. Splits the plate, strike one. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Kicks and deals. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. The run comes in from second. It's 3-1. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's Christian Walker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Here comes a pitch, and that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Man at second. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Gone! It just got out of here. And this game is tied. It's 3-3. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run. And that's exactly what they needed.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And now Jack Peterson. That catches the corner. And now the lefty. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. On the ground, right side, into the outfield, base hit. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Gabriel Moreno now at the plate. There's a strike. The pitch. Hammered down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. And he's got a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair, and even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory, and that right there was perfect. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Golden opportunity right here. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And another ball. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and fires. Swing and a pop-up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting seven. Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lovello. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Two on, one out. There's the strike at the knees. 0-2 oh, now. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. One hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Run comes in from second, it's 5-3. Relay throw to third, safe, he beats it. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 
fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Breaking ball inside. And it's one and one. And a pitch. Guriel gets a piece. The one two. And yeah, that's outside. On the ground, right side. That's a base hit, run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So up next, Geraldo Perdomo. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Just missed. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And the 1 0. In there at the knees for a strike. Guriel at second, Perdomo over at first with one away. That misses the zone, and it's 2 and 1. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Ripped on a line. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Now a screamer into the outfield. Bouchard makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third. He scores on the sack fly. It's seven to three. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Here's Bud Black towards the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change here. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Nick Mears. Number 46, Nick Mears. And now, Christian Walker. He's already homered here in this one. Mears picks over, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And that's a strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. That's outside. J 
just missed. It's a good take. Corners are occupied with two down. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Another homer. His second home run of the game and they tack on three. It's 10-3. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Two outs, nobody on. So next is the designated hitter for the D-backs, Jock Peterson. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And the inning is over. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And it is now 10-3. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Sean Bouchard. Sean Bouchard. The why to kick the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Whips it to first on the run. On target. He got him. Nice play. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Oh, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key... It's just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Now it's Charlie Blackman. One for one with a double and a run score. Fouled off to the right. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And a swing and a miss there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The Diamondbacks up big in this one. Here at the top of the second. Missed with a changeup. Now one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down, one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Rockies, not what they were looking for. It's 10 to three. Bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. The pitch. Now one call to strike, and it's 0-1. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game and so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Right-hander kicks deals. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike.
Right handed reliever. And it's fouled away. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Righty to the plate. Popped up. Bryant makes the grab. And there's one down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. That one hammered center field. This one's got a chance. Bangs off the wall. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw in there safely. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Alec Thomas now. And that clips the inside corner. And that one wrapped foul. Line drive caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. singled and scored his first time. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Two outs. That one missed. And the right hander deals. That's hard hit on the line. Jones makes the catch, and that'll do it. set for the start of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. One and two. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. So a man aboard next to hit for the Rockies Nolan Jones a double 
And a run scored his first time up. And a foul ball. And here it comes. That one a little bit high. Ball one. Swing and a miss. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. The D-backs up big in this one. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Man at second. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Flied to right his first time. in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone when you're struggling out there on the mound hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard and a pitch swinging a foul pushed off to the right Tovar the runner at second with one away Three. swings through that one it's a strikeout Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. it off still one and two we're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact one two got him looking a controversial called strike three to end the inning And we're back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these D-backs putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. Five of their hits have come from at-bats where they were behind in the count. So they're really battling up there. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one to first. Steps on first for the out. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. So the batting order turns over. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Got 
That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. And his third hit of the game is a triple. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Cattell Marte. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Good eye in that spot. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. At the belt and fires. That one fouled off. The one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Walker in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Jalen Beeks getting ready to go. Two outs and a runner at third. Here in the last half of the third. Strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. That misses the zone and a count one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And he deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Well done. Drives in the run. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Man at second here with two away. Here's Jack Peterson. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That one catches the zone, going one. Man on second, two down. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. And they boost their lead. It's 13-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat, and 
A really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. The left-hander on now, Jalen Beeks. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pin when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one for strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Diaz makes the grab, and that's the inning. D-backs at a pair on the homer. Three innings complete. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chase Field, start of the fourth. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Ryan McMahon. The wind of the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And the righty deals. Ripped on a line to center. Snags it on the run, and there's one down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. There's the strike, and it's 2-1 and one now. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at-bat. Line to left, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. Not in time. He's got a double. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. One down. And now the right fielder, Sean Bouchard. And that one fouled off. Here's the O2. That's inside. Diaz leads off second with one gone in the inning. Hard ground ball base knock. Around third. The throw in. He's safe. He was all over that one. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. He's 0 for 1. That to right. Thomas gets under it. Pulls it in for the out. Two away down. Now batting the designated hitter, Charlie Blackburn. So the Rockies lineup turns over. There's Chuck Nasty. One for two. Blackman, a former All-Star, 37 years young. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one.
in the air out towards left center he's there he's got it and that is that so they pick up a run on two hits no errors and a man left to the bottom of inning number four now D-backs lead it 13 to four Back here in the desert, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. That misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Kicks and deals. That one's in there, and that is strike two. That's a little bit low. 2-2. Two -two. And they'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And it's a leadoff double as they look to keep pulling away. So, man aboard, Alec Thomas getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. He swings and fouls one off. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Up and in, now one and two. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking. And one away. Here's Guriel. Guriel. And a foul ball. Man at second. And a good eye there. Out of line, out towards center. That's a base hit. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. And it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Oh, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. Bouchard snags it for the second out. The center fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup, Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Three for three with a single, a double, and a triple, so he just needs a homer for the cycle. Bryant, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. On to the top of the fifth we go. Diamondbacks lead this one 14 to 4. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning, and the batter will be the shortstop. Ezekiel Tovar. Gallant back to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one.
And base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Tovar gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Just missed. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And there's a ball. And he walked him on four pitches. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Bryant in the box again, takes a strike. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top of the fifth. And takes low for ball one. One and one. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Right through there for a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. And we're back. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. As the lefty gets to work. That one hammered left field. Jones raging back towards the wall. Caught just shy of the wall. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Walker in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. And that one clips the corner. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. The batter, number three, designated hitter, John. And Jack Peterson, Peterson stands in. He's already homered in this game. First no. offering, and it just misses. And another ball. Yeah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And strike two. That one is upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not. And meanwhile, this a fair ball down the left field line. Now he'll turn for second, and it's a double, making him three for four on the day. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And in scoring position with two away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Gabriel Moreno. One for three. And ball one. Peterson at second with two down. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Now well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. New inning getting started. So in now for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The wind of the pitch. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Marte tosses to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The catcher, number 35, Elias Diaz. Now it's going to be Elias Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And yeah, that's outside. Two and one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. One down, base is empty. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Sean Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. Sean Bouchard. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The pitch. And misses inside. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. On the ground right side. Walker takes it to the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. 6-7-8 due in the bottom of the sixth. D-backs out in front, 14 to 4. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Jake Bird. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. 
every outing matters for relievers in their numbers but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now and a pitch swing and a miss and that is strike one. Well, these Diamondbacks really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. So far, they have six hits in the counts where the pitcher has had the advantage. So it hasn't been easy for them, but they're finding a way to get it done. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Alec Thomas digs in now. misses just off the outside edge I think that was a strike activity in the bullpen Gavin Hollowell getting ready to come on for Bud Black one out base is empty hard hit left side over to Bryant and a couple of quick outs talk about being able to dial up the velocity that first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt Two outs, space is empty. And yeah, the batter now, Lourdes Goriel Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. In there at the knees. And a big swing and a miss. And that's in the dirt. Here comes a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings and misses. Struck him out. We go to the top of the seventh, leading off Brenton Doyle. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Pitch misses there. Now two and two. Line drive. Base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Back to the top of the lineup, Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies. Foul ball there. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second to Walker, and that's two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. First pitch, and he just misses. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Thompson up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Man supply warming up as well. Two down, nobody on. The shortstop takes a ball. Fought off foul. Righty delivers. 
Swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play. Still two and two after the foul ball. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Man at first, next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. Just missed. Just missed. Swings through that one for strike one. Tovar, the runner at first with two gone. That one fouled off two and two. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. Bottom of the seventh. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. Bird goes six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And he was a fifth round pick back in 2018. And he'll one. Nope. That one to first, Bryant. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter, the center fielder, Corbin. This is Corbin Carroll. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Just missed. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. It's a double, his fourth hit of the game. Such an impressive performance out of him in this one. His third hit for extra bases. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man, it's second with one away. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. One out and a runner at second. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Next pitch is outside. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 16 to 4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. One out, base is empty. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that one is inside. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Still only one out here in the inning. Foul ball. Foul ball. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That clips the corner. And a 1-1. One -one. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. And that is that. Could tell Marte with the blast for Arizona. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Thompson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. The first baseman, number 23, Chris Bryant. And here it comes. And there's a the strike. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. The pitch. And down on strikes. And one gone. Now that. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. That one in there across the letters. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. They got it for out number two. The third base is number 24. Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon, the next to hit. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. The one two and another ball Two outs. 
That pitch just misses the inside corner, and that's ball three. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Rockies. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. A. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Just missed. The Diamondbacks up big in this one here, in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Hammer, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit below of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. Now, Alec Thomas. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals towards first. Nice stop. Oh, the throw is over his head. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard, and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. New pitcher on now, Gavin Hollowell. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Two on with one out. Here's the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Guriel gets a piece. Here comes the 01. That's a strike. Suarez at third. Thomas at first. One gone. Base hit and a run in to score. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. That clips the zone. Strike one. First and third, one down. Next pitch is outside. Two on, one out. Comes up empty. That's strike two.
kicks and fires. Over to Rogers. What a double play that was. Inning over. One run, two hits, an error, and a runner left. Through eight full. Arizona's on top, 17 to 4. Back here at Chase Field, now at the plate, Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz. The pitch on the ground. Throws to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Now batting right fielder Sean Bouchard. He's two outs away. Sean Bouchard will hit next. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Drifts towards it. Two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So it's their last chance in this one. And here is Brenton Doyle. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. All over that one right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Back to the top of the order. And now it's going to be Charlie Blackman. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Two outs and a runner at third. Here at the top of the ninth. And a foul ball. The Rockies down to their final strike. Base hit and a run comes in. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Two outs, runner at first. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Four for four with a double and three singles. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. And a foul ball. And the right hater deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Right handed reliever. Comebacker to the mound. Throw to first, ball game. And the Diamondbacks take this one in a blowout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long 